Senator Sherrod Brown, Democrat of Ohio, joined calls on Saturday for Republican Senators Josh Hawley and Ted Cruz to resign after they supported objections to the 2020 Electoral College results on Wednesday. Brown appeared to refer to the Senator's support of objections to the Electoral College votes of Arizona and Pennsylvania, two key battleground states that broke for President-elect Joe Biden in November's presidential election. During a debate on the the debate of the Arizona objection, a violent mob of Trump supporters attacked the Capitol, breaching security. We, we already know what happened. Uh, Brown took to Twitter early Saturday evening, writing that both senators have betrayed their oaths of office and abetted a violent insurrection in our democracy. He called for both Republican lawmakers to immediately resign. Should they not do so, the Senate must expel them. And it has said, because the hill for some reason as people that don't know how to write um this is very hilarious okay so holly's office when asked to comment pointed to remarks that he made on the senate floor condemning the riots wednesday night yeah whatever that, that's johnny come lately stuff but listen so i did a video where i was talking about how murkowski was brave for calling for trump to resign because that's a sitting president from her own party and that's just that's not something you see ever um, but Democrats and Republicans calling on members of the opposing party to get yanked or to remove themselves happens all the time. When Graham, for example, senator from South Carolina, was running for another term, he was called on to resign by members of the squad. And, you know, he didn't. Um, Trump has been called on to resign by damn near every Democrat. <laughs> and he, he didn't. And listen, Hawley and Cruz are both, and I don't agree with either one of them on much of anything, but they're both two young, smart, you know, conventionally anyway, uh, book smart, anyway, as I would argue, politicians who have aspirations and ambitions. And I don't see any way in hell where they would go, yeah, this makes sense. I'm going to uh, try to appeal to Trump supporters, in Cruz's case for four years, in Holly's case for two years, and then after their leader has been defeated in this election, I'm going to stoke their claims that he somehow won in some secret alternate universe we're not aware of. And then after doing that, and they have this crazy capital attack that I did not orchestrate or support, I'm going to then resign and throw away my whole 2024 aspirations, put it right in the trash can. But I will say this is you, you don't usually see senators calling on other other senators to get rid of each other. Um, the last time I can remember that was when Al Franken resigned over a bunch of stupid allegations. <sighs> the, the legacy of Me Too. But this is significant for that because senators usually don't, it's, you know, they're, they're all friends. They all like to hug and smile with each other. And and Hawley and Cruz are, are being directly targeted as people who should take accountability for what happened partially to neutralize them as candidates in the next election um you know and it's funny because the republicans like we we believe so much in the law except when our our little supporter buddies decide to go up to the capitol and that crazy for a, a couple of hours so this isn't much but it, it is funny that like he because like what's the point of making a statement like this the senate's going to get taken over by half by the Democrats with 51 votes. And even if most of them support expelling these two, uh, you're going to have people like Manchin, like Cinema, that are going to just say to hell with it and keep them in there. That's why I, I don't understand really trying to do anything, you know, like bold, such as getting rid of someone or some different legislation, uh, you know, that is on an important issue when you've got a Senate that's filled with Republicans and Republican lights that have a D by their name, like the two I just mentioned, and they're not gonna get rid of two other Republicans, especially ones that they might have to call Mr. President in a few years.